Hello, it's me again, and this time I'm gonna show you how to change the mirror. Basically, not the mirror itself. On top of that, as a bonus, you're gonna learn how to change the mirror indicator uh, that is located behind this mirror glass on a Hyundai Inside 2010. Um, it's pretty straightforward if you haven't done it. It's gonna be kind of a good video informative video for you and uh, I should apologize if there's low light in here in advance because right now it is actually 10.53 night here in Finland so straight away jumping into the video what you need is one of these uh, it's a little plastic prey Pray toolkit basically. Uh, if you don't have one of these, don't worry about it. All you need is a flat screwdriver that fits down here, and uh, you can tape it up with some uh, electric tape. But so I know some uh, professionals will say, don't do this, it's gonna break everything. But yeah, so it's not gonna break everything as long as you be gentle with it. It's it's built to stand shocks like this. So there are a couple of push pins over here and a couple of uh, more over here. But the ones up here are basically like hooks. So you hook them up first and then you push the bottom ones. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna first pull these up and then we got it slightly push it upwards so it can come out, right? So, let's oh, we got it out. So yeah, basically, if I can show you, these two are at the bottom, which are gonna go here and here. And these two are going up here and here. So basically it goes like that and like that. So one more time. These two, as you can see, are designed to go up here and up here. So you first push it up just like that. And at the bottom, these two are gonna be hooked over here and over here. This, if you wonder what it is, this is the... Uh, this is the heating panel behind the mirror, basically. It defrosts or get rid of any steam that might occur on your mirror. That when you press the, the nice button inside, it's just gonna send an electric wave over here, so you're gonna be able to defrost your mirror. So we unhook this. No need to remember which one is which because it's just a circular current. It's gonna go through it anyway, it doesn't matter. If you are worried about it, you can mark them. Or just leave it in the corner like that, you know. So now, oh, sorry about that. Now that this bit out, this is the uh, mechanical bit that is gonna tilt either way, upside down or right and left, when you play with the knob inside, and uh, it's gonna go to any direction basically. At this point, unscrew this one, this one and these two on the top. These are the ones that we need to unscrew so we can get the back cover out and hopefully we're gonna reveal all the parts for the side indicator. One more screw over here. Let's see if we can zoom. There you go. So one more screw over here under the mirror. You need to unscrew this one so you'll be able to get the nozzle out. So let's keep it like this. This is the only type of screw that you need to remember because it's a different 
different kinds of the others that you take out and it's very small so now that should do the trick for us that's it there you go so now we got it out uh, this is of a indicator this one should come off easy as well all right and this is the back one and here is a simple push button, so you push it over here and you drag it at the same time and it comes out. Right. So for the installation, you're going to do exactly the same thing, but in reverse. So that one goes in first, hopefully, there we go, we got it in. I'm gonna leave it there what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go quickly uh, test it to see if it actually does indicate and be back with you in a second So, as you could see, it did work. The only problem with it is it automatically tilted the mirror all the way back um, as it is the ECU that takes over when it is in a kind of a funny shape. It just doesn't like the way that you fiddle around with it. It wants it either way out or all the way in. In this case, it folded it all the way out. <laughs> now we're gonna do it manually, bring it back in keep it where we are happy then we're gonna go and start installing everything else back in there have a brand new indicator and thank you very much for watching the video subscribe to my channel I hope this has been informative to you it's quarter past 11 so 20 minute job less than that actually I'm gonna take a lot of cuts out of it so you're probably gonna end up watching five minute video thank you